Good morning. Hello. It's been a couple days. It's been almost a week since we posted an update here. Um, it's because it's just been so hot. Today, it's supposed to be, the heat index is supposed to be 115 or something like that. So we've been under heat warnings, heat index, heat advisories. So I haven't really gotten to spend a whole lot of time out in the garden except for early in the morning to water it and then later in the evening our house is just hot right now we're like putting towels and blankets under the doorways into our bedroom so that we can keep our bedroom warm so it's easy to sleep in and on top of some of the curtains and our doorways we're just keeping shades and blinds clothes we're surviving but anyways um 7 30 on a friday morning i'm about to water the garden oh no I just noticed something. Our tomato plant <laughs> has succumbed to the chair. Wow, that is our grape tomato plant. That's actually kind of cool though. Gives it a layered effect and I can add some more over here, but here's how things are looking. Our two tomatoes, I'm waiting for them to ripen before we take them off the vine, but they're looking real pretty and juicy. These are our cherry tomato plants, looking really good. I planted some more lettuce. This is romaine lettuce that we just got from the grocery store and I cut the end of it off, put it in water to let it root and that's really shining. We also got another one popping up here. And our strawberries, they are suffering from the heat and some pests as well. That's new as of tonight or as of today, wow. Um, and I've actually been harvesting lettuce, believe it or not. I've been eating the lettuce and the bugs are no longer. So I've just been cutting it and then they are coming back. Green onions though are really lovely. I planted three more in here. The chamomile, y'all, it smells like straight up donuts. <laughs> it smells so good. And then I've been harvesting from our herbs and eating a lot of it and they've just continued to come back. So that's lovely. This beautiful bell pepper plant's really filling out and we're finally starting to get some flowers. That's so exciting. The blossoms on these are just gorgeous. But the most exciting part is some of the cucumbers that are coming in. Look at that sucker. Oh, we've got three of them coming. The garden is doing lovely. I am kind of scared how it's gonna look after this weekend, after the heat of the week. Um, but here we are, 7.30 and I'm already getting eaten up by mosquitoes. So let's water the garden and then maybe later on this evening when Brock gets home, we can sit down and he can show you some of his pipes. How many people do you know actually take a hose and water the weeds in their yard so that they can harvest them later? Well, now you know one. If you haven't heard of dandelion root tea and the medicinal benefits, go ahead and look it up. It is pretty wild. It really helped me on my gut healing journey. So I have, oh yes, the sound of summer. <laughs> so every day I have dandelion root tea with green tea and that has actually replaced my coffee. Still love coffee and I miss coffee, but gut health, I gotta work on it. And then like two weeks out of the month, I'll circulate a raspberry leaf tea, not raspberry tea, last raspberry leaf. And that actually helps with like hormonal balance. So I will literally have a one cup with three tea bags in it. And then all throughout the day, I'm just re-steeping it, adding honey. And that is primarily what I drink all day long. So I'm a tea girly now, I love it. And I married a, the biggest coffee snob in the world, so. I miss coffee, I do. How, how was work today, working in this heat, Brock? Terrible. 
Was it rough? Yeah, I was sweating for the sake of sweating. We weren't even working hard. It was just sweating. Like I literally today looked like I peed my pants <laughs> all day because I was sweating. It was just water pouring off of me. I mean, that is true. You did send me a picture where your entire kneecaps were just soaked. Oh, it was worse when we were done. Oh. It, it, it came to here. We're literally like, I was like, did I pee myself or did, did we sweat a lot? Well, let's go inside and um, show them the pipe that you finished. Good afternoon on this extremely hot afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to our kitchen. <laughs> Tell us what you got, Brock. So I finished mostly the pipe we were doing last time. It had the problem with uh, the stem just coming out. So I totally fixed that. How'd you fix it again? So I held the bit just over the flame, maybe two or three inches until like you felt it and it was getting warm and then it was too hot to touch. And literally all I did was at that moment, just put it on the table for like maybe two seconds and pick it up. And it just expanded. And, yeah, stuck it in water. And then, I mean, I put it in there and she's great now. Oh yeah, that so, looks so nice. Yeah. It's still not a perfect pipe. I don't know if you can see here. Can you see it? Can you see it? The like weird, come on, focus. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. So, You're yeah. officially a YouTuber, Brock. So, I'm a wet smoker. I like have spit <laughs> okay. all the time inside the stem. You can actually like see the droplet sometimes That's because it's cool. a clear stem. And because the hole for the stem and the pipe aren't perfectly aligned, it builds up water and it actually comes out of the stem. Mm -hmm. Dan gave me a way to fix that. I just got to oh, do nice. it. Yeah, he said just drill a small second hole at the bottom, maybe a half inch deep if you don't poke through the bottom and it like stores the water a little bit. Oh, okay. So he said maybe that'll work. Yeah. Better than nothing. So I see you've got a couple more. Are you working on these now? So or? this is the next project. Oh, this is a completely different barrel. So barrel. with this one, like again, it's already got a hole that goes into the chamber. Again, I bought this at RNA Treasures, came in a came in like a reject pipe thing. But this one looks a lot better. And what I'm thinking it's just this straight stem. I don't think I'm gonna bend it at all. I think we're just gonna have this. I'm just nice moment. Yeah, gotta put like I like the light color and the light color going on here a little bit. Okay, yeah, like a little natural moment. Yeah, so like we're gonna I'm gonna have to do some work on both of these to get it to work. Like this one's already got a hole, but I feel like oh, it's gonna make yeah. it a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna have to sand this down. But I truly think as soon as those two get up, I might have to here shove in the yeah, so it's already got a hole, but it's obviously not the size of this. So I'm gonna have to work on that. So this is called a Zulu pipe. So like it's bent just a little at the end, like it goes straight and then it just bends. And then this is called a military stem. So I think you just taper this to where theoretically like, it would fit into here. <laughs> oh, okay, we're done. The next thing I wanna do is go actually buy the briar block. Oh. So like they're like this big or however big you want to get them, how many, and like I have the block and like you drill the hole for the stem, like make sure the stem fits or you do it after either way, but like you're drilling the tobacco hole and then you're also drilling like the small one and then the, the big one. So like. So you're doing it all. Yeah. Like truly just taking a piece of briar or ash or whatever. Anything you want to say to your future? Mr. Murphy self watching this five years from now. Like have I started like selling them and stuff or like I'm just doing this for oh. fun and I've got a collection of like 300 pipes in there that we're well, not Go doing. ahead and dream. But, Tell yourself right now. So I mean, I would like to like side job. That'd be cool. Five year me. Yes. Have you started selling them yet? That's where we're at. Oh, have you started selling them yet? Nice. Okay, well thank y'all so much for hanging out with us in our kitchen. Yeah. Future us and anyone else out there hanging out with us. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. We'll see you soon. See you soon.